Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yes! Hello, friend. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be scrutinizing another Lindy Hop video highlighting the rhythm hot shots. This Lindy Hop team is incredibly influential when it comes to the history of Lindy Hop. So let's take a look. Here we go. All right, we are live. Let's see what happens. Another is that I get to see and hang out with my friends again. We don't get together very often. Maybe we, we go out and eat or something, but not like this, actually. So very totally seldom understand we hang out. that. And even more seldom do we perform together. So for this night, today, we put something together. Um, yes! See it. And we're going to start with a jazz number to the song Walking, Walking the, the Dog, dog. To, from Stormy Weather 1943. So please put your hands together for W, Martin, and Leonard. Oh, clap too loud for the audio purposes. Yes. Wow. These three folks, we're going to talk about this after. <clears throat> Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Oh, great. Wow. So it, it was brief, super brief. That's exciting. Wow, 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 wow. Guys, the story on these dancers, I tell you what, we are part of a significant legacy, a giant body of people who love this thing, right? And these dancers are really some of the key dancers who are responsible in the resurgence of Lindy Hop coming back to the public again after that you know 30 year cold captain america frozen and ice hiatus right and because of these people's curiosity in this vintage dance they were able to find some of the original dancers uh that were in the hells of poppin video and many others the story is really convoluted but here's the thing that i take away from it these dancers look I always respect those who have come before me. That's just my belief system. Honor your father and your mother. I'm sorry. That's what I do. And whatever they're doing has, has made an impact on so many different people in so many different ways, more than we can fully understand. Think about this. Without them venturing and going to Harlem to look, at some, look for some swing dancer in a video, not even realizing it's the bad side of town, <laughs> they could get jumped and beat up. Just because they were just curious to go out there and be interested in something that was different, right? Something that was outside of their comfort zone. We're all here. Think about that. That's some hard, hard principles to think about. It inspired me to get involved in Lindy Hop, um, to make a difference in my local community, um, to help others be able to find their place in Lindy Hop. So 
These dancers for me are so critical just because they cared about doing something that was outside of their comfort zone. And the great part about it is they set a precedent for the dancers of the future. Now that precedent has already been set, I will argue that, by Frankie Manning and other dancers like Norma Miller. They weren't the originators of swing dancing. They were like the second generation of swing dancing. And so they approached the dance with humility and also respect. So they learned it from their teachers and um, they added more value to the dance by adding new choreography and things like that, but they never undermined anything that came before them. That precedent's been set. The Rhythm Hot Shots actually did that. And I love that. They were mimicking a specific time period of Lindy Hop, highlighting how the dancers would move and the stylistic parts of that in honor for those dancers. And I think um, that is a huge lesson that I've learned specifically from this group. And that lesson is add value to the dance, but don't take anything away from it. I came in as a hip hop dancer, um, you know, and if I wasn't exposed to a jam circle, really seeing swing dancing for what it was, I would have been arrogant. I would have come in saying, I'm going to do whatever I want to do. I'm going to change the dance to be whatever I want it to be. And if you don't like me, you're against me. You know, I would have probably done that if I wasn't humble and I wasn't sincere about my love for this art form, which wasn't actually mine, someone else's, my ancestors that created it. So because that humility coming in, I was able to take, take a hold of something that's so huge, that's affecting so many people. And I give credit to that, to this group. They set a precedent for me that really helped me stay level-headed and respectful to those who have built a precedent and built a standard for us to model after. So what do you guys think about the Rhythm Hot Shots? I love some of these dancers like uh, W and, and uh, Leonard. I, I love them. I really do. Leonard's quirkiness and stuff. I, I Sometimes I try to imitate that when I'm dancing and I, I could never look like him for very conspicuous reasons. Uh, but other than that, I, for me, this group is so dear to my heart and I, I, I hope they live a long time and I hope we can see more dancers in the modern swing community mature in the dance and continue to contribute to the art form in a respectable way. So what do you guys think about this uh, performance? I thought this was really cool. Uh, I get super excited every time they perform because it's very rare when professionals who are busy, uh, we have our family lives. Uh, it's really hard to get together and just be able to articulate what we love about the dance and to be able to just play together, play together, right? Th this is all play for us, being able to dance and create and share it with people. So um, that's how I feel about this. Let me know what you feel about it in the comment section. As you can see, they were doing a lot of solo jazz, a lot of classic solo jazz movement. And if you need to learn how to do that, Check out some of my courses below. I've got about 25 to 30 free courses to help you understand like what you're part of. Obviously, I cover a lot of those basic solo jazz courses, but also I imprint my unique fingerprint. My gift is in creating new ways to do Lindy Hop, just new ways to move all the time. That gets me going. And so um, I include all that in, that in the course just to kind of give you an idea of what it's like being in our community. Also, if you're that kind of person who was like me, when you saw Lindy Hop, you're like, I need to learn how to do this fast. Everybody out of my way. I don't need a pep talk. Show me how it works. Objection. Objective ideas. Subjective problems. Just, just show me so I can put in the hard work and do it. Well, I spent over 10,000 hours going through that process, taking from all the dancers in the world, and I put together a very streamlined, simple approach. It's a street smart swing approach. So if you want to learn that approach, I also put a link there uh, in the description. It basically will say something in regards to like saving 10,000 hours of work <laughs> so you can get it instantly. Man, I guess that's just the burden of, you know, every new generation. You always get something easier than those that came before. Anyway, guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you like what you've seen, uh, subscribe to the channel. I will be spending a significant amount of time uh, working to provide new content for our community online, but also uh, judging and giving observations uh, to other people's art and giving you guys my opinion about that. A lot of people always ask, hey, I don't really hear opinions from dancers. Like, how do you judge competitions? Like, what do you guys go by? Like, what's right? What's wrong? What's subjective? What's objective? Not a lot of people talk about these things. I like to talk about them 
not in private. I like to put them out there. And so if you have sharp ideas and you like to talk about those ideas, let's let's talk together. This is what a civilized society is about, is sharing ideas uh, so that we can all benefit from that. So with that said, guys, hopefully I will see you in the next reaction video or in one of my classes online. Take care.